Hi, I'm Chris Calhorn, a neurosurgeon from Georgetown University Hospital. I'm the director of the Epilepsy Surgery Program at Georgetown. Along with my colleague, Dr. Modamedi in neurology, I will be speaking to you today about surgical treatment options for epilepsy. In general, two out of three patients with epilepsy will respond to medications. But one out of three patients, despite taking medications, will continue having seizures. And those patients are potentially surgical candidates. In brief, epilepsy surgery involves trying to target the precise area of the brain where seizures are coming from, and then doing a targeted surgical procedure to try and remove those seizure areas to minimize seizure activity. I was having other neurologists telling me they weren't seizures, so I was being told one thing and not being told another. I didn't feel relief till I came here, and Dr. Modamedi said, it's a seizure. I lost jobs because of the seizures, because I would be unable to perform certain duties. I didn't want to go out in the public. I didn't want to go to uh, engagements of any sort. Seizures can start anywhere in the brain, and that's why we call them focal or partial seizures. So the next step would be to bring them in for brain mapping by putting electrodes on the brain, which is done surgically. We can record the seizures and pinpoint the seizure focus. If someone's seizure focus happens to be in those critical parts of the brain, unfortunately, they won't be surgical candidates. I did the sleep clinic, and during that sleep clinic, I produced, I believe, a couple of seizures. He recorded them, saw them, and from there, we went forward. Going through the surgeries, where they actually went in and resected part of my brain, they took it out, and I've been seizure-free ever since. And then slowly, I had to do things to get driving again. I got up walking again. All these little things were just happening. Patients will typically take about four weeks to recover from surgery. Uh, during this period, they may have some incisional pain uh, that takes time to resolve. It's usually manageable with oral pain medication. They may also feel just slightly more fatigued than normal. We will often uh, see immediate improvement in the seizure activity. Some patients will have a seizure or two after surgery. It does not mean that they won't eventually become seizure free. It's our practice that we will continue uh, the medication for up to a year after surgery. If our patients are clinically stable at that point in time, uh, begin to gradually wean them off with the goal of trying to get them to be seizure free and off of medication at the same time. A number of our patients after surgery have been able to go on and do the things that they haven't been able to do for years. For this reason, it's really the most gratifying uh, surgery that I perform. So I'm driving again. Um, I had lost my license for a while. I'm back at work, which was huge with me. Little by little, I'm just reintroduced to society and I'm just, I'm not scared as much as I used to be. I'm able to do things that I couldn't do before. I can walk down the street and not feel that overwhelming fear. It's a miracle, it really is.